Welcome back to the NFL Players Podcast. I'm Zach Miller, and this week I'm excited to talk a little bit about the offseason. You know, you go through the NFL season and you have such a grind, such, uh, you know, you put your heart and soul into the season and trying to win games and finally get a little time to yourself, time with family, time to do some things you want to do, you know, whether that's vacation and, um, you know, seeing seeing your family, those type of things. So, um, you know, I want to start off with with kind of how I approached my off season and uh, really the planning that went into it that really can help you. Um, whether that's improving your health, improving your body, improving your finances, they're all things that should be addressed in the off season. And uh, sometimes they get forgotten about. Sometimes you just don't think there's a cost to not doing them. Um, and you really should. There's a there's a good uh, there's a good reason to. And and you can you know save money, save you know save your body, play longer in the NFL. The 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 first one I want to kind of just uh, talk about is is the fact that your body is is your wealth as an NFL player. Uh, Taking care of that body, really, uh, you know, doing the doing the right things in the off season to to, you know, increase how you feel and and increase the the level of your your play for the next season is so instrumental in uh, becoming such a, uh, you know, a professional and a, and a good football player that that it really it's really what separates. Um, you know the good players to the great players because the 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 off season um, you know a lot of times you're on your own you're left up to your own devices you know and and you deserve that you deserve to to party to take vacations uh, what you go through in the season you definitely should do that and you really need to do it for for your mental health alone just to decompress. Uh, you know, process how the season was, and and with the NFL playoffs in full swing, and and you know, seeing seeing guys still playing, and and I understood that as as a player in Oakland, I, I you know had to watch all the other guys make it in the playoffs and get to go play in Super Bowls, and I finally got that opportunity in Seattle, so I understand what it's like to be at home already when you still like you sh- you feel like you should still be out there playing. So uh, the first thing you can do, um, you know, really is is in the off season is is get a game plan on taking care of your body and whether. You, you have accumulated some injuries during the season. I know I always did. Um, it's a rough sport. Make sure you see the proper trainers the pro- and do the proper uh, treatment protocols to make sure that your body is is really in, in top shape before you start your team's offseason program. And and uh, that's one thing where you don't want to skimp. You want to, you know, you know, good trainers and good professionals cost money there. And so that's one of those things that that if you can increase your, your career just one more year or increase, you know, to, to the amount of money you get in your next contract by just a little bit, you know, that more than pays for itself in, in, in the upfront cost of training and, and optimizing your performance. The, uh, the, you know, sometimes we as players, we, we uh, don't like to spend the money, but a lot of times it, it, it pays off and, and can make sense if you hire the right guys. Uh, the other aspect is the mental part of the game. This is obviously getting so much more focused these days. Um, I know that, uh, you know, early in my career, I really, you know, tried to be so mentally tough and fight adversity so well that, you know, whatever the season threw at me, um, you have that edge that, you know, you bounce back from it. You don't have a good game. You, you know, rough, rough opponent that week, you, uh, you know, you bounce back and that goes the same, um, the same, what, you know, the highs and the lows, you know, if you, if you're playing well, a lot of times you can, you know, maybe take it easy in practice. So sharpening your mental edge in the off season is also something I think you should focus on. And, uh, it's, it's not a bad idea to get the, you know, consult with the, the proper, uh, you know, coaches that focus in on that and, and get with, uh, I know a lot of teams have sports psychologists now to, to really uh, hone your edge when it comes to the mental side of the performance. Um, the the next thing I still you know really want to cover is is um, you know as it relates to financial matters. I know as a player, um, you know you really push those things off to the to the end of the you know off season. You you don't want to do it when you're in season, and I don't blame you. I didn't want to do it. Um, it's something sometimes that that you don't feel like there's a cost to it. You don't feel like you know you know what I have is good enough. But but you got to really question: Is it there? There's um you know so many things you could be doing in the off season and and as a former NFL player rep you know one of the first things I I gotta say is just please just log into your NFLplayerbenefits.com account you know check out all the all the benefits retirement accounts all the all the all the you know that those things you've accumulated as a player over your, over the seasons and you don't have to understand them just spend the time set up the account so you at least know it's out there and and can begin to understand some of those things that you know are part of your compensation and something that should be part of your financial plan the really the the things that you should be thinking about um 
when it comes to your finances in the off season, I think you really should sit down with your advisors and go through each each section and and really start to understand it. And the longer you play, the more it will make sense to you. As you get older, um, you know the business part of the football makes more sense. Um, but you really have to to understand kind of your financial structure, and that's that's just a kind of a, a a term we use around here. But it's really just boils down to your your lifestyle, how much you're spending. Your giving, which is how much you've given to charity, your savings, which you're just going to turn right around and invest anyway, and then your taxes, which you know provide opportunity. and And with tax season approaching, I'll just hit on some quick points with when it comes to taxes. Is is you know there's so much focus on the tax filing now and what that means. And really, the biggest thing there is tax filing, tax filing, and tax compliance that a that a certified public accountant does, a CPA, they're just filing taxes for what happened last year. There's no actual tax planning. And that's where, you know, there's there's no real value add there for for NFL player. What you want and what your advisor should be doing is tax planning. And now that's that's much more involved in, in investments and your financial structure and you know what kind of debt you have, what what kind of uh, investments you have, whether it's private or public, and being able to optimize those with in coordination is something that I think every athlete needs. And you know, unfortunately, uh, you know, I know from personal experience they're just not getting. Um, in my personal experience, I had a broker that was at uh, Merrill Lynch and. You know, they're le- it says right on their website, they're not legally allowed to pr- provide tax advice. And it says that on the bottom of Morgan Stanley, the bottom of UBS, all the brokers, they're not legally allowed to provide tax advice. And it's just a huge opportunity that's missed, that's real dollars. And we discussed the individual 401k last week um, or the week before. And it's just those are things where you can take that endorsement income. And that money that's going to get taxed at a 40 or 50% rate and defer that income. And I mean, that's real savings that can a lot of times more than pay for your entire, uh, you know, financial planner's fee, uh, just that savings alone that you're not getting, um, with a broker. And so I know I've, I'm obviously missed out on that when I was playing. And it's something that when you, when you're with an independent advisor, like we are here, you can really take the whole financial structure and whether that's insurance, estate planning, taxes, and then, and then marry that with the investment side. I mean, you really, that's what the wealthy do. And that's what NFL players deserve. And I, you know, wish would I, I would have had it as a player. Uh, the, the, one of the arguments against that is, is it is, uh, just not a good one is the checks and balances is you don't want your investment guy, uh, you know, to be the same guy as, as a CPA. And that's just not, that's not true because what what you what they think you're getting is is an audit and a, an audit a CPA is different than just a, a CPA that files your taxes. If you want that and and you you want to make sure that you, you're not being taken advantage of, you should definitely go out and hire an, an audit CPA and and any financial planner that's doing business the right way wouldn't mind uh, you know an, a, a C. A, a, a certified public accountant that's an auditor come in and, and audit to make sure everything's uh, kosher. So that's just something that um, I know that uh, is commonly uh, kicked around by the brokers, and it's just not it's not helpful to NFL players, and not something that that will help increase their net worth and 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 really maximize every part of their financial structure and and their financial plan. Um, you know, as I touched on a little bit earlier, um, risk management is, is is huge for an NFL player. As you know, as your net worth grows, you you know you're, there's the liability issues. So umbrella policies that's a that's a no brainer. And then as you have you know played longer and and you you know have potential to really get second and third contracts that are really big, you you need to make sure you have a disability policy. This is also, I mean, when I was playing, there's there's you know, there's a certain point in your career, you know, you have a chance at a, at a big second contract or maybe a big third contract. And you want to protect as much of that money as you can with a disability insurance policy so that if you don't, if something happens, you know, you are protected there and you protect some of that financial security. And it's really something that, that sometimes gets overlooked, but it, it really should be implemented in so many NFL guys' uh, financial structure that it, and sometimes it is missed. Uh, the other one that I touched on a little bit was estate planning is it's, it's, you know, can be expensive because attorneys are expensive, but it's something that once you have a family, um, you know, especially you just got to get that right away. And it's, you know, get a trust, revocable trust, 
um, you know, a different and, and estate planning is one thing that you really have. It's customizable, exact down to that person. But in general, you know, uh, a good idea is to have a trust, a, a will, and then durable uh, healthcare power of attorney. So those are just kind of ones that you want to implement, especially wife and kids. You want to protect them, and and that's just something that a that you know, as you're a professional, you're professional on the field. You want to be a professional off the field, and really something. Um, that you should start implementing, and and the off season is the per- the perfect time to be planning for those type of things. You have the time to dedicate to that, and you have the 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 ability to to spend the time to evaluate the right advisors. You know, evaluate your agent, evaluate everyone who's giving you advice, and really, are they doing the best? for you? Are they doing what's in your best interest? You know, if the, I know that uh, there's a saying, you get what you pay for. And sometimes if you're getting, f- if you're getting free advice or you think you're getting free advice, there's, um, you know, the more than likely you're not, that's, uh, there's a, the, the best cost money and you're going to have to, to pay up for some of these things, but they'll, they will, I mean, they wouldn't exist if they didn't pay off for so many of the wealthy that, that have them in place. Um, you know, the last thing is we talk about is, is human capital. So just to, to, to bring it in here is your human capital. All it is, is your, your future earnings, your future contracts you might sign in the NFL and beyond. So really you got to protect that above all else and, and find people that, that will help you to maximize that. Um, whether that's trainers, financial advisors, everyone should be on the same boat as you of helping you to reach your full potential when it comes to that. And that is what, uh, you need to make sure that your team, uh, kind of has around you and, and they're out there. There's good people out there that, that, that will do that. And, and do it the right way. So uh, I, I know, uh, obviously covered a lot, but that's kind of how, you know, the, the little things I've learned about approaching the off season and, and what, you know, what I would do different, what I would uh, really uh, implement, uh, have implemented earlier, because, you know, it's, it's easy to say like, oh, you know, I don't want to, I don't want to spend the time to, to address that now, or I don't want to kind of, kind of, um, Rock the boat, but you, I mean, you know, you, you, if you de- if you deserve the best and you you know you deserve the best, you have to you have to go out and find the best and not be afraid to 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 don't let uh, all those tax savings, all those uh, you know that investment opportunity uh, cost that, that you have when you when you're not full, you know you're not invested the right way, all those things add up over time and they can really have a detrimental effect on on your wealth. So um, taking no action is is it can be just as painful and just as adverse as as taking the wrong action. So uh, you know I encourage you to to really evaluate everything in your financial structure and 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 really look around to who your advisors are in this off season. And, uh, uh, I love obviously all the, all the, uh, feedback and questions I get. So, um, Z Miller at awmcap.com. Uh, send me any questions or feedback you have, and, uh, I'll see you next time. The information in this podcast is educational and general in nature and does not take into consideration the listener's personal circumstances. Therefore, it is not intended to be a substitute for specific individualized financial, legal, or tax advice. To determine which strategies or investments may be suitable for you, consult the appropriate qualified professional prior to making a final decision.